Hey, what is up guys? So, we got the full spoiler list of Astral Pack 7 as well as picture confirmation over here. So, we're going to go ahead and go over the list and then we'll kind of talk about is this actually worth, uh, you know, investing into. Because uh, some places do actually sell the Astral Packs. They're supposed to be given out as like either tournament entry um, fees, like you, you enter a tournament and you'll get an Astral Pack and sometimes the prizes for the tournament are additional astral packs and some other tournaments just have these and like i said some stores do actually sell them but anyways let's go and go ahead and go over the top three cards well these are the ultimate rares out of the set this is like the the supposed to be money cards out of the set anyways the three cards are Gaia, dragon the thunder charger castell and spell shouting arrow so those are the ultimate rares that are supposed to be the most expensive and obviously the most difficult to pull uh just as a heads up uh unless they change this uh, you do get a super rare out of every pack. I don't know if you guys used to open up the tournament packs or the championship packs. Those are like impossible to pull from. These, you know, much easier. But anyways, um, these essentially kind of replace the TPs but and the CP cards. But uh, yeah, so those are the ultimate rares. The super rares um, that are worth mentioning are Altair, uh, Uncall High, kind of okay. Skarm, it's nice, uh, I guess, for some BA players. We also got Leo. We got Ragna Zero. And uh, maybe Twister Dragon Ravine. I mean, level limit area B and level limit area A are also super rare. Basically, the first row, and um, not counting this normal monster, which I'll get to in a second, uh, those are the super rare. So from Altair until level uh, limit area A, those are super rares. But, I mean, maybe this is just them telling us Dragon Ravine going to go to 3 confirmed right here. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, the Dragon Rulers are kind of gone. I don't know. Maybe some Dragoonies su support will come out in the future. But uh, for the most part, I think the supers are like, meh. I mean, it's nice to have some of them, but I think they could have picked some other cards, or they could have reprinted a lot of nicer cards. Uh, they did reprint some good side deck cards, though. Um, the good side deck cards I would consider that are printed in the set are Light Imprisoning Mirror and Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Fairy Wind was also a nice card, just to kind of have it here. It was it was kind of going up in price. It was like $4 at one point for a con, which is kind of expensive, but I think that they could have picked some other cards to uh, be in here, whether they picked like Dante or some Shadal cards, it just would have been nicer for them to actually give us uh, things that really needed to be reprinted. Whereas Telstella and Gaia, they're not super expensive cards. I know sometimes in the Astral Pack they get cards that see a lot of play and then they foil them out. Um, Castell can definitely be one of those though. I like that in a sense because I bring a Castell almost every game if I'm playing a Ring 4 deck, so I do like that for sure. But uh, one thing to note, there are two cards here in the TCG. I know 90% of you guys don't really care too much about this, but there are card collectors. And, uh, you know, I figure I'd mention that uh, Soul Hunter comes in here as well as Invader from Another Dimension. These cards were never printed. It's pretty much just for people that want to actually, uh, you know, collect cards. I mean, look at this card's effect. It's so good. It doesn't even, it doesn't even have an effect. That's how good it is. But you know what? You can't fiendish shame it. All right. There is some upsides on this card and uh, as well as Invader from the, uh, from Another Another dimension but yeah that's the full spoiler list uh let me know what you guys think of the set oh there's also storm but that's like pretty much not seeing too much play and the card is not expensive anyways but i think the set personally is like meh it's like oh it's so it's okay like if i get it you know if i pick up a pack or two and, but it's not gonna be something like oh man i want to drop like uh several hundred dollars and pick up a couple boxes of this because i mean we got scattershot bestiary these are all like i mean technically uh, Pudding says, I think, I want to say she was not common, but I think this Fire Fist Spirit was rare. I mean, it's kind of nice, I guess, to get a reprint of it, but for the most part, I, I really prefer them to have higher, like, higher rarity cards just to get reprinted in the set. I I think that that's just my optimal, but, you know, that's just my take on it. Let me know what you guys think of the set. Do you think you want to invest in this? I know it's not a set, but it's, well, it technically can be a set, but it's not part of, like, the, uh, the main set of Yuga, it's more like a side thing, and like I said, it, it's usually used to reprint some uh, good cards and foil out some cards that do see uh, some more play. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, Asian Eyes, signing out.